Not so Freudian here. Welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus Dailies. Uh, yeah, I was, you know, normally I start from the daily screen, but something changed on the other screen. Does that happen when you beat Blue Baby for the first time? Or is this something new? Because I don't remember that on the other file. Of course, I think I beat Mega Saiyan before I beat Blue Baby or um, uh, uh, the Lamb, just on complete accident. I've told that story where I just had Little Haunt and Nod Leaf, and it took like an hour and a half or something. Yeah, I don't remember how I got through the door. It might have been, or maybe I just like kept dying against, you know, trying to get to Blue Baby and I unlocked Dad's key somehow. I don't remember. I don't remember how to unlock Dad's key. Okay, so this goes to Mega Satan. Guess I take Lost Fly. Okay, this could give nine lives, right? The dead cat. Nope. Hermit is probably more useful than the fool. Because it can save me a key at some point. And it has all the same. I don't think this is going to do anything, right? Yeah. Like, most of the time, a shot speed up is effectively a range up. Because your tears stay in the air the same length of time. They just, uh... Oh, come on. I thought I was safe. How did they get moved out of their little hiding holes? Alright. I have enough money to go to the shop for a half price item. I'm probably not going to bother because the odds of having a half price item are pretty low. I do want at least one bomb. Maybe I will buy a bomb because there is a tinted rock that could have small rock in it. There is no bomb for sale, but there is a half price item. King Baby, Lord of the Dead. Okay, he stops moving when I charge a shot. And then he just like jumps back to me when I release the button. I wonder if he does contact damage. And I can just, like, leave him. No, it d doesn't appear he's doing contact damage. Maybe it's just when he leaps back. No, it doesn't look like it. Maybe he makes other babies do better. Normal dingle charges thrice. Dang it. Okay. I don't think this Gemini explodes. Okay. Well, I got a key in three cents and I didn't get hit, so that's something. My Papa Fly seems to be doing more damage than normal. It's like I think it one shot at that fly on its own. Unless Papa Fly is usually just, you know, more powerful than a you know. Yeah, two shot at that one. Maybe it's just stronger, maybe it's better. definitely take Serpent's Kiss. Which I now realize I was mistaken as to what exactly it is. Okay, one of these is a library. I thought that it was actually, um, Bible 
Focusing is probably better at the moment. I think I was thinking of Toxic Shock that does damage when it goes into the room. But I think Serpent's Kiss can turn enemies into Demon Hearts. So that's usually worth taking anyway. Finally I get some bombs, holy crap. And Tinted Rock, just in time. And I'm out of keys, great. That's not going to be the secret room. That could be, and that could be. I'm hoping for a key. Nope. I chose poorly. Why does that guy show up with Larry Jr.? Uh, and Larry Jr. took contact damage from something. Was it the Royal Baby or King Baby or whatever? No idea what this is. It's got an Omega on it. Dad's lost coin. It raised my range. And it gave me a lucky penny. Interesting. I might do that because I wind up with the same amount of health and more damage. I forgot that I wasn't going to be able to fly afterward. Well, anyway. I cannot take it, unfortunately. I wonder if Dad's Lost Coin is just a lucky penny. Or if it's just a penny and I was really lucky that it was a lucky penny. Because I forgot to look at the stats to see. I guess King Baby just guards the... Um, key for me. Alright. I'll go ahead and use a bomb, the bomb I got to get the key. I should have used that and seen if I got one or the other. Ooh, Death's Touch. Awesome. And it's Tears Down, huh. I think I had noticed that before. I never really noticed it, if you know what I mean. I think I was like, oh, it seems like I'm firing a little slower. But then, like, it never actually registered, registered. Huh, I hit both of those with exactly the same number of shots. I wonder why the one took longer to die. Use the moon, it might have some good stuff. Okay, well. Gives me a bomb. Gives me a slightly better chance of getting a deal with the devil. So I've already got the I already know there's an item in it, and it's not, um, Krampus. I wonder if Lost Protector would have one-shot at the... Um, there. Stupid champion peep. The leaves creep everywhere that I wasn't worried about yesterday because I could fly. I don't remember if it was the daily or the normal run I did. Okay. Take that. And it gave me HP, so now I can trade a heart for it. Probably better. Let's check out this last room. <clears throat> I don't know if Serpent's Kiss requires that the enemy die from the poison damage. Or if it's just, like, if it dies. Or if it dies after getting hit by the poison scythe at some point. Devil room's still open. Kind of weird. No curse. That's kind of... 
kind of random. Although I guess you can get the, uh, um, what do you call it as well? The, uh, oh jeez, I completely forgot he would dash like that. But yeah, you can get the IV bag, so I guess it makes sense you can get the blood bag out of chests now. Hopefully I can just bomb into there. Can't get to the key. Reasonable chance. Nope. Go the other way because I don't want to have to go through that room more than once if I don't have to. If I get a couple more bombs I can do that. <sighs> Made it. Definitely use a couple more lockups. Alright, arcade. Just money and then a couple of pennies from that. Okay. Uh oh yeah, that's a room that requires two keys. So it wasn't gonna be a library. Scapular is scapular. Um, Alright, compost is the one that turns consumables into stuff. <clears throat> Nothing there. It turns consumables into flies and spiders. Or flies or spiders, you know what I mean. There's another key, and I don't need any more keys this floor, so I will go ahead and head into here. Hope I just find more keys as time goes on. One, no thank you. I've got enough good stuff, I don't want to re-roll into crap. Because basically, I can't think of a whole lot of things I'd rather have at the moment than what I've got, aside from, you know, a magic mushroom. I mean, as it is, I'm even getting a bunch of, you know, extra health from the demon hearts. <coughs> the Stain. I always forget the student's name. <sighs> okay, what made him, like, dash toward me for a second there? I was just too close. It's exactly enough to put me at full health. Next floor. Curse of the blind again. Dang it. There is a tinted rock there, but it's gonna take two bombs to get to. Not helpful. Why does it seem like further away enemies take less damage? I don't have anything that should do that, right? I can see forever is great. Gulp. I'll use it on a room with enemies and see if anything happens. Because it sounds like it would be the opposite of Horf, which is, you know, fire, if, you know, one Ipecac bomb. Okay. I'll go down to that tinted rock and see if there's anything there. Lucky Penny's helpful. Because <clears throat> with the number of rocks I'm blowing up, there's a chance it gets me a um, crawl space. Trying to get rid of the poop. Made it. That's why I'm fast enough to get across. That was fast, too. If I could fly... And there we go. 
I'll spend a bomb on that. Probably. I need keys more than bombs, so I'll spend a bomb here too. Not a lucky penny, unfortunately. Okay, X lax. The tower. Probably not awesome. Maybe in a room like that with a few skulls in it. Kill the smoky bullet thing. The tower. Okay, demon heart and a playing card. And a normal card. <laughs> there we go. enough money to buy both of these items. Stopwatch. Okay, nice. Bogo bombs probably isn't going to make a big difference, but if it does, it'll be great. And I mean, it's useful either way. Head up in there. Kill that. That wouldn't even be helpful with Dark Bomb right now because I have full health as it is. May as well just pick that up. I'll probably blow up that Keeper since I've got so many bombs. Speed up helps. Well, that's a great. Only one Troll Bomb looks like. I don't even have a trinket, so Endless Nameless could keep giving me Hierophant cards. I mean, the odds are fairly low, but range up is fine. Two range ups is pretty good. Alright, glad I came over here. But yeah, the possibility of constant uh, Hierophants when I need them is cool. Almost walk straight onto the spikes there. Brownie should just die. Thanks to the piercing shots, not caring about how many dips he puts in the way. Okay, safety pin. I, I keep forgetting to use this stupid um, Book of Belial. <clears throat> because that would have been a great time to, you know, even have Curse the Blind Devil. Uh, room items. It's a shame it didn't quite blow up the tinted rock. What's all these troll bombs? Die. Die. Probably not as good. What does it even do, now that I look here? Okay, lowers my shot speed, increases my range. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Pretty nice, uh... Flies, it should make. I'm looking for small rock. You know, that's why I keep blowing up the tinted rocks even though I'm at full health. Oh, yeah, I got slightly too much. Oh, wait, there's nothing over there. Health. Okay, arcade means I can hurt myself a little bit, and then, uh... Well, hopefully it means I can hurt myself a little bit. Yeah. One, two, three. Oh yeah, I have the stopwatch. I don't remember if blowing him up gives me a... It does not increase my double chance. I have plenty of time. So let's go ahead and come in here. Remember to use that for the love of all that is holy. Well, yeah, this was 100% worth it just for the... Um... Lucky Penny. I got two demon hearts out of that. One of the flies he summoned must have made one too. Oh, full health. 
I don't really even want a blood bag. There's another demon heart. Unfortunately, the shop is most likely going to have one of the two greeds in it. Don't really want the eternal heart. I'm not entirely sure what killed him. somehow, because he just hit me with it twice. Pick that up. He can't dash at me. Okay, using it again doesn't do anything. I figured I'd check since I actually have the stats down the side. or the hush and why can't I ever remember wow the mask isn't slowed down hardly at all oh yeah I can't fly what an idiot I'm just blowing those up so I can fire piercing shots straight across He has almost as much health as Gertie does. Weird. Although this might be the champion Gertie that only makes enemies. Although I don't remember if that has more or less health than normal. Okay. Dingle's dead. Wow, he still managed to hit me.
definitely going to have full health and demon hearts by the time I leave here. Okay. Uh, I think I... Yeah. It was demon baby. soul heart in here waiting. No crawl space again. Okay, yeah, I think it does strengthen the babies that I have because that one just took... Oops, I did not want to pick that up. Just took so much more da... or did so much more damage to that enemy than I expected. Lots of soul hearts waiting. Well, soul hearts and demon hearts. And may as well just go in there, because there's four sitting in the last two rooms. <clears throat> yep, perfectly fine. <sighs> Made it. Another soul heart. I don't even have anything that increases soul heart drops, as far as I know. Unless scapular does. Unless it's a luck thing. Hang on. Sorry, I desperately needed to cough. Uh, resume game. Oh, come freaking on. Whatever. Don't need to teleport because I'm already fighting Mega Satan. shot one of those mushrooms. Those things are usually obnoxious to get rid of.
maybe it gives me more occasional um, poison shots. No idea. Oh yeah, I've already hit all the dead ends that I've passed. Okay. There's that. And the boss. Okay. Alright. Lots of keys helps for the Baron. No thank you on the toenail or Xlax for that matter. I was hoping for a lucky penny. Okay, there are batteries, so I will use Book of Belial here. Using Book of Belial doesn't appear to increase your chance of getting a devil room. It must just be, like, carrying it into the room. Or carrying it into the boss fight. I don't mind getting hit once here, because it makes it so she can't hit me with anything but her brimstone. Unless, of course, the fact that her shots hover in the air longer. Dang it. Okay. So there's no reason to take that. Grab a battery for Hush. And a couple of hearts. At least one of them's a demon heart now. Head to the Baron. Creepy bombs. This isn't going to do much. Bob's rotten head isn't going to do much. Two of diamonds could be useful in the shop. Uh, I'll take the soul because I'm not great at fighting things like the hush with uh what's this bucket and I don't want a different active item. So don't really want either of those. I'm at full health. As we'll see what this is. Oh another higher event. Cool. So yeah basically I'm just definitely gonna be at full health at the end of this floor. I should probably pick up Bob's Rotten Head as well. The question is, is it efficient to let myself get hit early? And make the whole fight easier, or do I wait as long as I can and just hope I don't get hit at all? Okay, move point. Now I gotta use this. I can use this Hierophant without worrying about it. Because I will have, um... Oh yeah, I have the soul. Yeah, I can use this Hierophant without worrying about anything because the, uh... Other one that I can take down to the next floor. Why is he afraid? What do I have that causes fear? This is taking longer than I was hoping. shot speed shots appear to not be capable of hitting me. I wonder if... Yeah, I think because, like, it's the same way shooting at those, like, the enemies that have the soul kind of effect on them. Where they, uh... Like, if you have a high enough shot speed, you can sneak shots in even when their, their soul thing is active. So I wonder if it's the same way. But yeah, Soul plus Stopwatch seems like the ultimate 
anti-hush. I forgot to look and see if it said hush or the hush. Oops. Whatever. Alright, yeah, I forgot that that attack doesn't actually um, get slowed down. Kind of weird that... Oh, there we go. I was about to say, kind of weird that none of the shots or none of the enemies I killed are doing me demon hearts yet. Oh, and then I get one from him, so I don't even need to use either Hierophant. I'm just going to pick that up and put it back down to make it so it doesn't show up anymore. Same with that. I should have done Dead Sea Scrolls because I could see picking up some item later that makes Unicorn Stump useful. That one almost got to me. Okay, the other one must have just died before he showed back up. Alright, so this is not going to be a secret room. Fest is fine. This could be a secret room. Oh yeah, this is the one that like snipes you with fat spiders. lying around, so. Sure. Well, it made it so I didn't lose a heart, leaving the room at least. Oops. Okay. Guppy's tail could be useful next floor. Yeah, that I walk straight into that. I am going to explore this whole floor for the exploration bonus. Oh yeah, there's a skull in the way, that's why I wasn't able to sneak and attack through and hit it. Alright. 
so I was I have more keys than I did coming in. That makes it worth it. And I got a luck up, so no luck ups there. Blind rage is probably not what I'm looking for. There are at least a couple of demon hearts lying around for any damage I take on Satan. All the other, or the royal baby, or whatever it's called, makes my, like the other babies, uh, stay where he is instead of following me around the way they normally do. While I've got the fire button held down. No, I didn't get a demon heart there, so I'm still at full health. Nothing else to pick up. I forgot to use Book of Belial, which probably isn't going to matter too much. Right, now explore this floor and fight. Sure, why not? Okay, Guppy's Paw. Bob's Curse. And I walked straight into that. Assume he gives me pills. Ares gives me a little speed up. And you know it does contact damage if I run into an enemy, but you know it doesn't keep me from taking contact damage. No thank you. It's just like, you know, a bomb every couple of rooms that I think attracts enemies to it, but it's usually a lot more efficient to just shoot them. Friends till the end. Guess I'll go find one of the secret rooms. Okay. So I'm at full health. Health up is kind of annoying. I still have no idea what golf does. Oh, it just spat a razor blade. Contagion. Oh yeah, I remember this one. Uh, I think when enemies die, they release a cloud of poison. Yeah. Alright, need more keys. I actually still can't fly. No 
thank you. Okay, take the Hierophant again. Okay, okay the skull did die. Except for Mega Satan, I will take it and use it. Okay. Die, please. I'm hoping for bombs or key. Tech point five is quite good. All right, been everywhere. Get rid of the heart container. Actually, that was probably I probably should have picked up a heart instead, because I could have. Um... Wait a minute. Okay, the key came back. Wow! Finally, I find Krampus. I was hoping for one more. I can see. Got the item because. That would have let me know. Crap. At least I got back to full health. Um. Cup guppy. And make this even less dangerous than before. Sure, I'll take another range up. I don't even know what that enemy is. Okay. I don't think I've fought him outside of, uh, you know, final floors before. I know he's new and, he, you know, he's a bigger floating rag man. But aside from that, I couldn't tell you anything. Okay, three keys. Hermit. Oh, come on. Algis. Open one. Host tab. I'm now immune to explosions. Glitter bombs. I now get stuff for... I'm now Bub. I can now fly. Which isn't generally a huge issue. Right now. Could be no. Didn't even see him. Just in the darkness. Kill those. Weird floor. Or like weird room. There's that gap up there. And double room again. I guess the head of Krampus is better than nothing, but I don't really see a reason to pick it up at all. I wonder if I should just be using bombs in order to, uh... What on earth? Bloodshot Eye, Bloody Friend. It appears to just rotate around and fire directly away from me. Jacob's Ladder, Electric Tears. That's cool looking. The electricity just arcs outward. 
backstabber, watch your back. I don't see any visual change. I was hoping there would be a cricket transformation, because I have cricket's head. I don't think there's any other cricket items, are there? It's interesting you still have to pick up the trophy here when you don't, like when the run just ends normally when you kill him. Huge damage penalty, but I'm still in 144th place despite being almost nine and a half hours into the day. And that means I beat, you know, I mean, at least 1,068 people have played. So I'm definitely in the top, like, 15%. Hey, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you would. I will see you guys tomorrow.